house of y'all is popping i am in yet another hotel room i'm in another country hopefully y'all are enjoying the scenery switch ups i think i might record outside actually tomorrow uh so we'll see uh but yeah i'm about to react to this vid this is dorothy's most savage moments from golden girls i love this show it's so hilarious it took me so long to watch it because i was like i'm not watching these old white ladies <laughs> what is it a lot of people talking about this like this doesn't look interesting at all like why would i watch this but i was over at my friend's house one day and it was on and i was like this is actually hilarious like i've been missing out uh but yeah we're gonna see her uh, most savage moments of lunch i had the money i could have been living in a swinging condo instead of with i better not say anything till i've had my coffee <laughs> a slut and a moron <laughs> I'm sorry, it must be decaf. I cannot read the shit out of this. Oh, come on, Ma. That superstitious nonsense. You know, step on a crack, break your mother's back. It doesn't work. I know. Don't talk to her. I like her. What's her name? I tried. I think I can handle this relationship with Dirk. I'm going out with him, Savvy Knight. Was there ever any doubt? Momentarily. This is strictly off the record, but Dirk's nearly five years younger than I am. Then what, Blanche? Dog years? <laughs> Blanche Devereaux? Just a moment. Sophia, that's the old lady. Or the older girl. Girl, where did you hear from Sarge to kill me at your boy? I know you said her name. My rear tires have less pressure in it. Uh, what is it? Our heart screams. What happened? No, nothing. Everything's fine, Blanche. We never should have watched Psycho. Oh. For 25 years, I have avoided that picture. Even when Stan invited me to the Roxy instead of over to his mother's house for dinner. And it turned out that my instincts were right. Norman Bates is scarier than my mother-in-law. <laughs> And a much better dresser. Oh, I never should have watched it either. It always upsets me, especially that shower scene. Oh. But it's the reason I prefer not to shower alone. Yeah. <laughs> sure, Blanche. And Goldilocks and the Three Bears is why you prefer not to sleep alone. Are you all right? I'll be fine. Is this about Arnie? No, Blanche. She's upset because they keep changing the taste of Coke. <laughs> Sorry to be late. I ran out of gas on the way home. It was just horrible. Nobody would stop to help me. This could never have happened in the old South. What has become of chivalry when men used to open doors for you, pull out your chair, tip their hat, kiss your hand, help you down out of your carriage, leave calling cards and little silver salves? So how far back do you want to go, Blanche? I mean, do you still want to be able to vote? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> miss our plane what are we gonna do listen girls i have an idea now i'm gonna create a diversion by bending over and picking up something seductively then the two of you sneak up behind him and give him a karate chop blanche what do we look like charlie's angels i have been told i bear a striking resemblance to miss cheryl ladd i don't know why she thought she Although was so much <laughs> even if you were hanging upside down on a trapeze. <laughs> Wait, how many boyfriends could a naive farmer's daughter have possibly have had? 56. <laughs> Excuse me? I had about 56 boyfriends. Of course, that was before I knew Charlie. I probably would have had more, but I wasn't allowed to start dating till I was a senior. 56. Fifty-six? Oh God, stand back. She's going to blow. What do you mean you had 56 boyfriends? You told me you were a virgin until you got married. Hey, you can have a boyfriend without having to go all the way. You cannot. Oh, hey. If that were true, Rose, that would mean you were a slut. Oh, come on, Blanche. How can you say that? So the woman had 56 boyfriends in one year. She's not a slut. Thank you, Dora. She is the slut. <laughs> Now my sis, she ain't for me. She's the grand poobah of slutgirl. <laughs> she is the easiest 
woman in this room. Hey, don't this boy like you take that back. The slut is dead. Long live the slut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't remember the last time I went down again. Yeah. Probably college. Where'd you go to college, Blanche? The University of Jupiter? <laughs> Daddy, do you realize it's only two weeks till Phyllis Strickland's yeah. Memorial Day beach party? That means it's only two weeks till we have to get back to our bathing suits again. Well, I just slipped into last year's bikini, and uh, I think I look pretty good, but you give me your honest advice. Can I still pull it off? Right now, I'd be surprised if you could cut it off. <laughs> now, they come look at these old pictures. I think I must have been about 10 years old in this one. Big Daddy just taught me how to ride a horse. <laughs> you were quite a little porker back then, aren't you? <laughs> oh. I was a little chunky, that's all. Blanche, the horse's eyes are crossed. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> You were fat. Oh, every little girl goes through that ugly stage. Yeah, ugly, yes, but this is ugly and fat. <laughs> Rose, why don't we just show Mr. Vaughn? I haven't seen a lot well, Why don't I just do that myself? Since I've had the most experienced performing here. Blanche, the parking lot doesn't count. <laughs> oh. We were probably looking for drugs. <laughs> We have Maalox and estrogen. I'll make it up to you, Dorothy, I promise. <laughs> Listen, if there's ever a night where you can't sleep, I'll come to your room and sing Kumbaya. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> yes, I do. Don't ever do that. <laughs> I just had a thought. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, 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 see, what do you mean sneaking up on me like that? You scared me half to death. I'm sorry, Rose. Next time I walk into a dark room in the middle of the night, I'll send a mariachi band ahead of me. <laughs> Mrs. Bonac? Mrs. Petrillo? I oh, good, someone. you two are talking. If she would read the girls down. We're not talking. I'm still furious with Ma for hooking me up with that matchmaker. That reminds me of a story about St. Olaf's most famous oh, Please, Rose, spare me the endless inane details of how Heidi Flug and Dougal Gergenplatz successfully matched a bull with a duck. <laughs> and how their daughter was a bull duck who ran a small tattoo parlor in the Dorothy, Sophia, I told the news director I was interested in the reporter's position, and guess what he did? A Danny Thomas spit take? <laughs> We have everything we need for the cruise. Girls, listen, maybe we don't have everything we need. But what are we missing? Well, we are going away for a romantic weekend to the Bahamas with Jeff and Rich and Randy. In this day and age, it might be a good idea to take along some protection. What kind of protection? <laughs> Two armed Pinkerton guards. <laughs> No, Blanche is talking about... Y'all okay, can't get hurt me, sorry. And Nestle's crunch? No, oh, sorry, I'm going to have to take the rest of these. Whatever. Emma, my bag? I remember when the thought... Get you, Grip. She thought she was pregnant. Condoms, condoms, condoms. And they like, girl, bye. <laughs> she colonized life on Venus. <laughs> She was 94 when I was six. She died, you idiot. Yeah. How did she die? You know, we're not sure. One night, she left in her wheelchair and she never came back. The next day, the neighborhood kids had a go-kart with two really big fat <laughs> There's a happy woman in there. Now, I want you to promise that you will not say anything. Do you promise? Do you promise? Are you sure? But what's got me so sad? Oh. Oh, oh my God. You wish you were trying to marry I just never, never had two better friends. I just can't stand the thought of leaving you. <laughs> oh, Blanche, you look gorgeous. Oh, Shut up, Blanche. Are you ready? Yes, I can. Stop! <laughs> Boy, life sure has a way of throwing you curveballs. When I was younger, I never would have imagined that I'd be worrying about money at this stage of my life. 
I used to think Stan would take care of me. I mean, we didn't have much saved, but he was a darn good novelty salesman. Sounds naive now to think that I placed my hopes for the future on a bald pinhead with the morals of a maggot who made his living selling plastic dog do. <laughs> You ain't shit, too. Well, at least I'm not bitter. Dorothy, guess who's here? My date. Your husband. I don't have a husband. Call the police. <laughs> Your ex-husband. I'll call the police. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's me, Stan. Dorothy. You look In the future, I would appreciate a little advance notice when you're expecting a gentleman. I realize this time it's only Stan, but next time it could be somebody appealing or charming or at least reasonably good-looking. No offense, Stan. <laughs> Dorothy, could we talk for a minute? Of course, for a minute. Ciao! <laughs> Y'all, I need to get this set up together. This is so janky. And it's sliding down. I, I, I'll figure it out. Um, but Dorothy was hilarious. She was so funny. I definitely need to see Sophia's savage moments, though, because I feel like she had the most savage, like, by far. Um, Blanche, she always thought she was fire for some reason. I don't know what that was about. It was like, girl, bye. I remember reading somewhere, though, that Betty White was actually supposed to play Blanche's role, but she was always getting that type of role where she was, like, the the sexy one or whatever. <laughs> so they decided to give that role to Blanche instead because she wanted to do something different. It said something like that. Um, but, yeah, I always thought Betty White was the prettiest one out of all of them. But it's like, all y'all old, so chill out. <laughs> like, chill out. But Blanche swear she was a baddie child. Uh, this was a funny video, though, for sure. I definitely need to watch more uh, episodes of Golden Girls. I thought I watched a lot, but now that I think about it, I feel like I only watched, like, the first season and maybe a few episodes of the second season. So I I'm definitely behind because a lot of this I've never seen before. Anyway, funny video. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!